Yo, what is up guys, Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video and as you can all see by the title, we're going to be summoning for the new 5 star supporter Tispy in today's summoning video. Now as you can see, the narrative dungeon is out and if we click here, we'll go into her narrative dungeon. As you can see, the Tispy narrative dungeon No Paradise does have 13 days remaining and if we just skip the little story here, and go into the narrative collection, we can see the Tispy is on the seventh rotation, like said in yesterday's update overview. Now we do have a ton of other rewards, but we won't be going over those in today's video, as like I said, we'll be summoning for the new unit. So we do have a ton of crystals. We have a total of 92,825 that I'm willing to spend to uncap my Tispy. Now what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to head into the summons tab and summon on her guaranteed upon summoning pickup right here and upon getting her copy we'll then go into the house of reincarnation and use some house of reincarnation summons that i've had saved up for quite a while instead of just spending all of our crystals when we could potentially get her from the hor so like i said we'll be starting out here on her guaranteed upon summoning and as you can see we do have 15 out of 15 remaining so let's get started here now hopefully i'll get her early on and then we can head into the hor as for the hor i have almost eight pools set up and hopefully we can get some uncaps from the hor as i i don't feel like spending all of my crystals on uncaps for her but we'll see what happens as honestly i'm not too sure if the dead or alive collab is going to arrive to global soon because right now we have a very short devil pass and it's kind of making me think that they're going to surprise us with the collab in some sort now as for the first multi summon here nothing good at all we just got one four star unit now yeah i'm expecting the collab to be surprised announced somehow but maybe i'm wrong and i'm just speculating but yeah don't take this as like confirmed info or anything but just thinking out of the box here as maybe they'll surprise us with the collab and hopefully not as they should have put it on the Lisa schedule calendar but I mean you know sometimes the surprise is fun for people and we skip here on the second multi and no Tispy just yet we got two four star units one of those being Isis and another character now we are on the third summon here let's try a skip here and see if we can pull her and no we don't pull her on the third summit we do manage to pull four four stars though so nothing too good but i mean some onyx i guess so into the fifth summon here now we're actually kind of going through this pretty quick we do start out with the blue here and it is the this piece so it didn't take too long as you can see we got her here the five star runaway this bee and as you can see the water type supporter unit i will search for paradise where an everlasting light will shine only for me so an amazing pool here we don't get the double but we do get her single copy and i believe it only took five summons so amazing pool didn't take too long like drastically too long we are at 95 percent mileage so maybe we'll finish that up later but as you can see here we got the five star runaway thispy now if we do check the mission pass we can see how long it took exactly and as you can see here only four summons now i thought it was five but actually four now before we head into the hor we actually do have quite a few tickets here we'll be claiming those right now we got a few for the maintenance being extended as well as some dc twitter rewards and the world boss reward for me dealing 15 million damage i believe so we'll get started here with the 10 times summons now we'll skip through these as it's not very likely for us to pull a five star unit but you never know sometimes could get lucky and nothing here on the first one just some fodder now i do like when they give out these tickets because they do help players save up some onyx and especially when we do have a world boss trial around the corner or a new unit such as this this beat comes out then we can just use it to awaken her or whatever we need to do with the onyx so pretty nice tickets that they do hand out if the maintenance is extended or whatever as you can see we do get quite a few fodder and can just extract those for onyx so one more here and then we do have a five star soul carter ticket as well as a five star summoning ticket so we'll see what we get from those nothing here from the three to fives as expected but like i said we'll just use those for onyx now we do have the soul carter here hopefully something new let's see what it is 
and we do receive a under the roses soul card now this is actually very new for me as i don't have it just yet so we have the soul card wood attacker options for world bosses increased slide skill damage by five percent when equipped and we have the under the roses we'll exchange a secret kiss and then you'll be mine so a very cool art soul card here i do like it quite a ton featuring the battery so a very amazing soul card for world boss trials and last year we do have the five star summoning ticket let's see what we can get here hopefully a this be or any uncap and we do receive a five star thriving now if you guys had seen i pulled a thriving in my world boss rewards videos so this is actually my plus six thriving so amazing pool here she's very amazing for world boss trials as you can see she's a fire attacker now she can actually be uncapped to plus six so that's a very amazing pull for me now we'll head into the hor as you can see here we do have a nice list now i'm going to be replacing my athena as i don't use her too much and i know she's very amazing for pvp but you know i just don't use it too much and all of these other units can be used for upcoming world boss trial as well as my pomona is plus five so i would like to get the remaining copy to plus sixer and then we have the Light Beam Mona and Werewolf that I do need uncaps for, as well as the two HOR exclusive PvP units. And we have the, of course, this be that's we're all hoping for. So we do have one summon here, as you can see, we can claim. And we do have quite a few here. And we'll get started here with the middle over soul summons now we'll be starting out with one hopefully we can get at least two copies of this be and uh, let's see here we do start out with the first one and for the first one we do receive a gunslinger hilda now this is a plus four gunslinger hilda so an amazing pool she's very exclusive to the hr as we all know she's the light type attacker gunslinger hilda where are you going little customer there's no escape so a very amazing pvp unit i would love to have all of these units plus six because i do like them quite a bit so let's get started here with the second one as i don't want to waste too much time and hopefully we do get a this speed that's all i'm really hoping for at the top of the list but you know they're all good and we do receive a light beam mona for the next one so this is a plus four light beam mona for me very amazing unit for world boss trials and i do believe ragna breaks as well so you see light beam mona the five star light supporter overcome your dark past head towards a new light so very amazing pull here i don't mind uncapping her as i do like her character quite a bit so number three here let's see what we get from this one and as for the third one we do receive another light beam mona so this is a plus five light beam mona very amazing pool we only need one more to uncap it to plus six and let's get started here with the fifth summon i believe just gotta make sure that these are all the father units as i don't want to get rid of the new ones we just got and next up we do receive another gunslinger hilder so this is a plus five gunslinger hilder now she's awesome like i said but not quite what we're looking for just yet we're waiting for the this speed now let's see if we can actually get her i'm hoping for at least two but might get unlucky and not get her at all so let's see here next up we do receive a five star this speed now this is actually what we wanted here is the plus two because we'll have one from the narrative collection so amazing pool here honestly at the top of our list so awesome to have received at least one so hopefully we can get a second let's see here on the next pool and we'll click it right now let's see what we get and we do receive the pure white pomona so my pomona's plus six i did want this pool quite a bit i think she was like below this before what i wanted so pure white pomona amazing units light healer as you can see here we'll search for your happiness together let's get married so an amazing unit i do have her plus six now so we'll have to remove her from the list so i do believe i'll just replace her with athena as athena is amazing for pvp so we scroll down a bit here's athena we'll put her there as the pomona's plus six so gotta keep an eye in here as you can see she shows up now so next up we have another summon here just keeping an eye on the pool here and we will click the oversoul button let's see what we get here and we do get another light beam mona now i do believe this is the plus six so i do have to check really quick 
before I leave her on the list, but let's see really fast in the child inventory. Alright guys, so yes, that is the plus 6 light beam Mona. As you can see here, we have the plus 3 at the 6 star, and at the end we do have 3 copies. So, 2 plus 6 units from the HOR, that's very good. Uh, Alright guys, so to continue off, we actually do have one more Oversoul Summon. Now, I actually did go into my 4 star guaranteed 5 star from the HOR. And I accidentally did not replace my Light Beam Mona. So, we did get an additional copy. But, I guess on the bright side, we can just use her here on the Oversoul Summon. But, unfortunately, yeah, I did forget to swap her out of my list. Now, we did replace her with Navi. So, Navi's very good for World Boss Trials. So, I would like to uncap her as well. She's at base. So, I do need a ton. But, one more summon here overall. Now, I did mess up quite a bit on not swapping Mona. But, it's okay. As we do receive a Navi here. So, Navi is plus zero. I do want her to be uncapped, like I said. So, a plus one Navi here. Not too bad for World Boss Trials. As you can see here, self-depreciating Navi. I have nothing. Navi, the empty child who lost the will to live. So, an amazing unit there. And we did get amazing pulls, even though we only got, I believe, one Tispy out of the summons now it is rng so you gotta kind of just hope that you do get the unit that you want as you can see we didn't even get a fluttering sea tree werewolf or too many tispies so amazing pools overall i did uncap the light bemona and pomona to plus six so very amazing pulls in today's summoning video all right everyone so that'll be it for today's destiny child video overall very amazing pulls we did get the this beat in four summons i believe from her guaranteed upon summoning banner and we did get quite a few uncaps for her as well as other units in the house of reincarnation now i didn't get as many as i would have liked to from the house of reincarnation but we did uncap the light bemona to plus six as well as pomona so that's very awesome to see and our Gunslinger Hilder is actually at plus 5. So very amazing pulls overall in today's video. I'm very happy with them. So make sure to let me know in the comment section below how your summons went for this B or any HOR pulls, etc. that you did for this new unit. Now we'll be heading back into the summons tomorrow hopefully and we'll see if we can in the next video. But before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and are enjoying the Destiny Child content. Now with all of that being said I'll see you all in tomorrow's Destiny Child video. Thank you all so much for watching.